All right, so we're going to go on to concept three today. Um, let's get this PowerPoint started. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about um, dimensional analysis, and then tomorrow we'll do scientific notation. So dimensional analysis is a technique of converting numbers into different units without changing their value. Right. This is useful when baking or cooking, traveling to countries that use different units than us, um, building, engineering, um, lots of different things. So this is done by multiplying given numbers by their conversion factors in order to get numbers into their desired units. Um, conversion factors are ratios of equivalent values, um, which means that they are equal to 1. So we use these in our dimensional analysis to alter the number without changing its value. So let's look at an example of a conversion factor. So how many hours are in a day? So 24 hours is equal to 1 day. Or you can do it 24 hours over one day, right? Because that's equal to one. Or you can put one day over 24 hours. So this fractional format is what we're going to use as we work through these problems. Because we're going to set up, um, they look kind of like fences um, to multiply and solve to convert units. Um, so let's look at a second example of a conversion factor. So you know that 12 inches is equal to 1 foot, or you can say 12 inches over 1 foot, or 1 foot over 12 inches, right? Because remember when you have a fraction, right, when you have the same value on the top and bottom, it's equal to 1, right? So that still applies, even though the numbers are different based off their units, we know that those are the same the actual length of those two things, whether we say it's 12 inches or one foot, are the same thing. They're equal to the same amount of length. So what would be conversion factor for days in a week? Right, so we have seven days is one week. So you would write that as seven days over one week, or you could write it as one week over seven days. So let's apply this into a real problem. So you want to write down the given or the starting number and its unit. And then we're going to draw a picket fence. Um, and then we will fill in our appropriate conversion factors, make sure the matching units are on opposite sides of the fence to cancel out. So we'll have some on top and bottom. And we're going to go through an example of what that will look like. Then you multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, and then divide at the end. So um, let's apply this method and convert seconds to a year, or one year to seconds. So we have one year, right? So we're going to kind of, this is the top bottom part of our fence. Um, so first, let's go from years. All right, I tend to just fill in one thing at a time because I never know exactly how many of these, oops, know how many of these little things I'm going to need. So I always just go one at a time and then fill in my stuff. But you can draw them out ahead of time too. Okay, so you always want to put, if you start with one year on top, you need to have one year on the bottom of your next one because you need to be able to cancel out your units as we go along. So if one year starts here, we have to put it here as well. Right, so let's go from years to days. So we're gonna slowly work our way down into seconds. Right, because I don't know about you guys, but I do not remember how many seconds are in a year. That's not one of those facts that I have memorized. Okay, so we know that there are in a normal year, right? We're not talking leap year. Um, there are 365 days. 
So we have 365 days to one year. Now, right, we need to go from days to hours. So we're going to put days. Oh, well, we got to cancel out our year, right? The numbers stay, but the units cancel. Now we're going to go from days to hours. So we have to put one day at the bottom because we've got to make those days cancel just like we did our years. And then we know that there are 24 hours in one day. All right, and then our days cancel. Right now we need to go from hours to minutes. So one hour has 60 minutes. And then we're going to go from minutes to seconds. Right, so we cancel our hours. Then we have minutes on top, so we need to put minutes on the bottom. And then we know one minute has 60 seconds. So now that we cancel our minutes, so we've got the unit we have left is seconds. And that's what we're trying to get to. So the one that you have at the top at the end should be the one that you are trying to convert to. Okay, and then now we're going to multiply across the top. So we're going to do 1 times 365 times 24 times 60 times 60 to get 31,536,000 seconds. Right, and then on the bottom we have 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 right which is just one so you would if there was a number on the bottom other than one you would work that division out but since we're dividing by one we know that the top is going to stay the same so that is our final answer for how many seconds are in one year okay so now let's go from feet to centimeters all right so i will um be attaching a chart and I think that a lot of these are in your notes too um, of conversion factors I'm not going to expect you to have your conversion factors memorized I mean basic ones like feet to inches and like the ones we just did on the last slide with days in a year hours in a day minutes and seconds in a day and so on but some of these more complicated ones of going from the English system to the metric system um, will be provided to you. You'll have those even when we take tests and quizzes and things like that. So don't fret about not knowing what the conversion factor is that you're multiplying by. But you need to know how to use them. So let's go with how many feet are in 250.4 centimeters. So we write what we're starting with. So we have 250.4 centimeters. Right, and I always like to put an over one here because I don't like to leave that blank. Um, so, um, the conversion factor for centimeters to inches is one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. So, again, you will be given this information. Like, you'll have a chart that you can look back at. Um, but the key thing that you need to gain from this is you have centimeters on the top. I need my laser pointer thingy. No, oh, it's not letting me click out. Here we go. Okay, well. Oh, man. Struggle with PowerPoint today, guys. All right, so the key thing is that you have centimeters on top, so your centimeter part of your conversion factor has to go on the bottom. They need to be diagonal from each other. So if you've got one on top, you have to have one on the bottom to cancel it out. So that is the key here, is that when you put that conversion factor of one inch to 2.54 centimeters, the centimeters has to be diagonal. You don't want two centimeters beside each other on the top or the bottom. Okay, so then the next thing we've got to do is go from inches to feet. So we know that there are 12 inches in one foot which means the inch part of our units are gonna cancel out because again, we have inches on the top and inches on the bottom, so they cancel each other out, right? 
So then what we do is we multiply across the top. So on top we have 250.4 times 1 times 1. On the bottom we have 2.54 times 12, which gives us 30.8. 30.48, I'm sorry. Then we're going to divide those two numbers, which gives us 8.22 feet. So 250.4 centimeters is equal to 8.22 feet. Right, so here is what I was talking about with our useful and common conversion factors. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this chart is already provided for you in your notes, so you don't have to copy it down. And I will also be providing, um, so on this formula sheet that I'll give you guys when we come back next week, um, It'll have the conversion factors on the top and lots of blank space on the bottom for you to write in formulas as we go through the year. Okay, so I want you to take a minute and practice setting up these conversions. All right, so again, um, we're doing Zoom office hours today. I've got one at 10, and then I'll post the link for the one o'clock Zoom after my 10 o'clock one. Um, so if you want to go through and check these before you do your other homework, um, we can definitely do that. So just practice setting up the bridges. Remember, you can use this information, right? And make sure your units are diagonal from one another. Okay, um, so this will give you the answer. So you should have gotten 0.951 gallons for number one. Number two is 1.32 pounds. Number three is 1.09 yards. Okay. So I want to look in your notes and see that you tried these practice problems, right? So make sure that you upload these as well as your assignment for today. All right. And your assignment for today is page 20, which is dimensional analysis practice. All right, um, hopefully I'll get to talk to some of you all later today. Um, can't wait to see your faces because I miss having you guys here. This room is just too empty without you.